What's up you guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a drugstore starter kit video where I show you guys my absolute favorite staple products from the drugstore that comprise kind of my kit or my everyday makeup staples. For me personally, on a daily basis, I do use a mix of both drugstore and higher end makeup, but today we're just gonna be sticking strictly to the drugstore so this is all really affordable, easily accessible makeup that you guys can find at your local drugstore. And you can use all of these to create so many different beautiful looks every single day without breaking the bank and having to shell out hundreds of dollars on new makeup because I know makeup can add up quick especially if you're buying higher end things so that's why I wanted to focus this on the drugstore give this video a thumbs up if you guys like drugstore videos I can totally do more of them for you and I think that's all I have to say so let's go ahead and get started so I'm just gonna go through the products like as I would apply them to my face so I'm first gonna start with primer so I have two that I wanted to share with you guys one is an older favorite one is a newer favorite so the older favorite is the Maybelline baby skin I really really like this this is a great pore filling in primer it makes your skin just look really smooth and then you can just apply your foundation right on top of it and it kind of glides on a lot easier so I do really really love this but a new primer that has kind of like taken this one's place is the Milani Prime Light Face Primer Strobing Plus Pore Minimizing. So this gives a really beautiful glow to the skin, but also fills in the pores and kind of minimizes them. So it kind of does what this does, but it also has that added benefit of making your skin look super glowing. I wanted to include this for my dry skin to normal skin girls like me. I have dry skin, so I love kind of a glowy, illuminating primer, but I know that girls that have oily skin might not like something like this. So the Maybelline Baby Skin is a really great option if your skin is more on the oilier side. So you don't need that extra added like radiance, but you want that pore filling in effect that's kind of going to just make your face look super airbrushed this is a great option for primer for foundation I have three because I wanted to cover all of my bases because I have dry to normal skin but I know not everybody has the same skin type as me so I wanted to be able to have different options for people with different skin types specifically with the skin products so the first one that I want to talk about this is kind of like the most universal one which I feel like if you have dry skin you have oily skin you have normal skin combo whatever it is you could use this product and this is the covergirl outlast three in one foundation I've loved this for years. I've literally used it for a very long time. You can go back on my channel to my really old embarrassing videos and see me using this foundation. It's fabulous. It's one of my staples from the drugstore. It's very full coverage. You'll see with all these foundations, they're pretty much all full coverage because that's personally what I like in my foundations. But it is a very natural finish to the skin. It doesn't look like overly cakey or anything on your skin, but it is going to give your skin a very flawless full coverage look which I like. I also absolutely love that this has a pump. A lot of drugstore foundations don't because I assume it's more expensive to like manufacture a product with a pump than it would be without it, um, but I absolutely love it. There's a ton of shades in this foundation as well, so there should be a shade for everybody. Love this foundation, definitely been a staple for years. My next option is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. You guys know I love this. I've used this so many times on my channel. Since I do have dry skin, I do love foundations that have more of a dewy, luminous glow to them. If you like that, I think that you will love this foundation. It is on the medium to fuller coverage side, but it does have a really beautiful, dewy glow to it. Really big fan of this foundation. This also is very long wearing. It's going to last on your skin all day. If you like more of a natural to matte finish on your skin, I think the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation would be great for you. This is a newer product to me. I just did a first impressions on this about a week and a half ago or so. I'll link it down below if you're interested in hearing more about it. Overall, I really like this foundation and it's so inexpensive. You can get it for under $5 and it has a little spatula applicator, which I think is really cool. But honestly, the product in and of itself is amazing. It's very buildable. So if you just do a thin layer of this, it's more so medium coverage, but it can easily be built up to full coverage, which I love. And it definitely does give a more matte finish to the skin. So if you're oily or you just like a matte finish specifically with your foundation, I think this would be great for you. It also does last really, really well on the skin throughout the day. You guys will see with all my foundations, I like long wearing foundations that are going to last that are more on the full coverage side which I think those are really great options for every day because if you're going to be doing your makeup early in the day and not really have any time to fix it throughout the day I think it's very important that you do get a foundation that is going to last because you don't want it breaking up all over your face by lunchtime. Up next for concealer my favorite drugstore concealer is the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I absolutely love this I've loved it for years as well this is very comparable to the NARS one the NARS creamy concealer that everybody loves I love that one as well but this one is very very similar I think regardless of your skin type you will really like this concealer. This can be used both underneath the eyes as well as on blemishes. It's more of like a medium to full coverage, so it is going to cover up any problem areas that you might have. For me, I do have dark under eye circles, and this does the job very well. There is a very big shade range as well, so you can get a lighter one if you want to kind of brighten your under eyes, one that matches you, you know, perfectly if you just want to conceal, or you can even get a darker one if you want to do some cream contouring with it. It blends out really easily. It stays in place. It does not crease underneath the eyes. 
I personally really love this. I think it's great and one of the absolute best options from the drugstore. It also does have a wand applicator, like a little doe foot one, which is really great as well. It's not like in a squeezy tube where you have to put it on your finger and then apply. I just think it's much easier when it comes in a packaging like this. Up next for powders, I have two different powders. One to set my under eye concealer because I don't ever use the same powder to set my under eyes as I do for my whole face. If that kind of makes sense. You can do that if you want to, but if you want to be a little extra like me and use two different ones, my absolute favorite to set my under eye concealer is this powder from Wet n Wild. This is actually supposed to be a highlighter, but it's not really very like shiny like a highlighter would be, like that you would use on your cheeks. It's more so just light, um, which makes it really perfect to set your under eyes. So this is in the shade Reserve Your Cabana, and it's just like a kind of like very light powder. If you guys can see that, I will swatch it. Um, so it looks like that on my hand. You definitely just have to use like a very little bit of it. You don't have to like use this much on your under eye, but it really helps to highlight and brighten that area as well as to set the concealer. I did use it on my under eyes today. So you guys can see kind of my underneath area of my eye is brighter than the rest of my face, but I personally like that look. So if you do, I would suggest using a lighter powder on your under eyes to set your concealer and then going in with a powder that's more so the color of the rest of your skin all over your face. So this is my favorite to set my under eyes. It really helps to keep any concealers from creasing and just keep that concealer exactly in place where you want it. For all over my face, I've really been loving the Milani Prep Set and Glow. This is really, really great. This is an illuminating transparent powder. Now it doesn't really leave very much of a glow on your skin. It's just more of like a very nice finish all over your skin without making you look powdery. Like this is basically gonna set your foundation but not make you look like you are covered in a layer of powder, which I hate that look, especially with my dry skin. It just does not look good. That's what it looks like on my finger there. But really once you put it on your face and blend it in, it kind of just soaks in with your foundation so it doesn't actually change the color of your foundation, which a lot of powders can do from the drugstore. Like once you start applying powders on top of your foundation, it's gonna kind of change the color. This one does not, it kind of just like melts into your foundation and kind of vibes to the same color, which I personally really like because you don't have to worry about it being off. My absolute favorite staple bronzer from the drugstore is from Makeup Revolution. I have used this and talked about this so many times. This is in the shade Rock On World. I think the only place that you can get Makeup Revolution is Ulta, but it's drugstore prices. I think this is like $7. And this like is a, a domed product and I honestly have had this for like a year and I use it almost every single day and I haven't even hit pan on it. I don't know how, um, but it's a baked bronzer. It looks kind of dark. This is the darkest shade, but they do have lighter shades besides this one, but I love it. I just swirl my brush in all the different colors and it gives such a really pretty natural flush to the skin. I do have it on my cheeks today. I'm not wearing any other blush. It's just this. I wear this a lot of the times just to bronze my skin as well as a blush. So I absolutely love this bronzer. I think it's amazing. It does have a little bit of like shimmery undertones to it, but it's not like chunky glitter shimmer, which I don't like. It's just a very, very pretty, very natural kind of product. I love it. It's beautiful. For my absolute favorite drugstore blush, I really love the Milani Baked Blushes. They make these in a bunch of different colors and depending on your skin tone would kind of depend on which color I would choose for you personally. For me, I really like the Berry Amour. That's this color right here. I do own all of them though. Um, they have a bunch of different options. Like I said, one of them is a dupe for NARS orgasm. I think it's called Luminoso. That one's really pretty, um, but they're these baked bronzers. You just kind of swirl your brush and then you can put them on your cheeks. I'll swatch this one so you guys can see. Just a very pretty like berry shade right there. And it kind of has like goldeny peachy undertones, um, but these are really, really pretty. Honestly, the best I found from the drugstore. I think a lot of drugstore blushes specifically can be very, very powdery and kind of hard to work with, but these are not, they're really, really beautiful, very comparable to high-end blushes. So I absolutely love these. They do come in really nice packaging too. Like if you lift this up, they come with a little brush underneath as well as a mirror. So. I love these, very, very great. Up next for highlighter, my favorite highlighter from the drugstore is the Wet n Wild highlighter. This one is in the shade Boozy Brunch. I know this is pretty hard to find because a lot of people have talked about this. It took me a while personally to find this one, but I did end up finding it in Walmart, I think, which I didn't know that they sold Wet n Wild, and I saw it there and I was like, yes. This is a really beautiful highlighter. It's also huge, like this is like size of the size of like half of my face. Um, so it's gonna take me a long time to use this, but this is a very, very pretty highlighter. It's like a goldeny undertones. If you guys can see it swatched right there. But this is really, really pretty. A lot of highlighters from the drugstore are just literally like pressed glitter and they kind of just fall out along your face. I don't have that with this product. I think it's really pretty. They really did a good job of formulating a true highlighter rather than just putting like glitter pigment or just a really light color. Like I feel like this is actually really, really pretty. Jumping into the eyes, we'll first talk about eyeshadows. Now this one for me was actually kind of the hardest because I find a lot of times with the drugstore eyeshadows, 
are just really not that great. They're hard to blend out. The pigment isn't really there. Like I haven't really tried that many drugstore eyeshadow palettes that I really loved until recently when I came across this one from e.l.f. This is actually my second time buying this. And this is the Mad for Matte 2. Now this is a really beautiful palette. This is my new one because my other one is like well used. This one is all matte colors, but they are very, very pigmented and very easy to blend out. I'll just swatch some of them for you guys. As you can see, they're very, very pigmented. Like they did not really slack on this product at all. Um, and the colors are so, so pretty. And like I said, very easy to work with. I definitely wanna do a tutorial with this palette because I do really, really like it. It does have a mirror too, which is great for traveling. And I love the colors. I feel like this is a really great palette for every day. You can definitely make a very neutral eye look with this, but then we also do have some blacks and a dark brown and a purple that we can really kind of transition it into nighttime as well. So this is a palette that can work for a bunch of different eye looks, which is really important. Like I don't wanna suggest a palette for a starter kit that's really only good for like super dramatic, looks are really only good for every day. I feel like this palette has a really great mix of both. Up next for mascara, I feel like mascara is a specific category where the drugstore really excels to me a lot more than high end. Like I like more drugstore mascaras than I do high end mascaras. And one of my absolute favorites as of recent is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. I wanted to talk about this one specifically for a starter kit because I think this is a really great mascara that kind of does it all, which are specific mascaras that I like. So this mascara isn't necessarily just gonna volumize your lashes, just separate them, or just lengthen them. It's kind of gonna do all of that, which is why I really, really like it. I am wearing it on my lashes today. I am wearing falsies, but you guys can really see on my bottom lashes, like they're very defined and they're also kind of like fanned out and volumized and lengthened. And that's all from this mascara. It kind of does all three of those things rather than having to have three different mascaras to do that. This kind of does it all in one. So I really, really like this mascara. I think it would be great for a starter kit. This is what the wand looks like if you guys are interested, but I really enjoy this mascara. It is newer, but I think it's great. Of course, I have to throw lashes in here. If you're just starting with makeup, you might not be interested in lashes, but if you are, girl, if you know me, you know these are my go-tos. I'm wearing them today. I wear them all the time. Like if you're wondering what lashes I'm wearing, honestly, it's 99% of the time, it's these. These are the Salon Perfect 614 lashes. They are so amazing. They are just long, wispy, beautiful. I personally think they're fine for every day. Like I'm wearing them today. I don't think my eyes look like overly dramatic. Um, I'm wearing them with no eyeshadow or anything. Like I literally just have the lashes on. So you can definitely do like a more natural look with these or you can do, you know, eyeshadow liner, everything else and make them more glam they are long and wispy. I love them. I literally buy them in these five packs all the time. You can find them at Walmart. I think that might be the only place that sells Salon Perfect. At least it's one of the only places I've ever seen um, that sells them. But these are so fabulous, you guys. My favorite lashes, hands down, like drugstore high end, any lashes. These are my fave. Now moving into liquid liners, I have two, although I wish I really only had to have one but I had to include two in this video and here's why. You guys know I love the NYC liquid liner. This is so amazing. I feel like Crispy made everyone fall in love with this. She did a, if you guys don't know who Crispy is, I'm sure you already do, but she is a beauty blogger. I love her, YouTuber, um, and she did a whole video using this, like, hello. Can we see how pigments that is? She did a whole video about how she does her winged liner because hers is always so on point. She said she uses this product. I went out and bought it and I've literally repurchased it like 10 times. It's so amazing. It's so affordable. It's from the brand NYC, not NYX. I feel like people get that mixed up, but apparently this is going out of stock. Like they're not gonna make this product anymore in the United States which I'm really upset about because this has literally been my go-to liner for ever since I saw her say that. So over, well over a year, it has a brush tip. It's amazing. Apparently you can still buy it like online, but it's like really expensive now because you can't actually get it in the United States. So I had to come up with something that I thought was pretty good to kind of replace this since I know most of you are not gonna be able to get this, neither am I once I'm done with this tube, so I feel like I'm gonna use it very sparingly. Um, but another product that I think is actually really good, I don't think it's as good as the NYC, but it's pretty good, is the Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liner. Um, I just tried this recently and I do actually really like it. It doesn't have a brush tip, it's more of like, it's like a fake brush almost. Like that one actually has bristles. This one is kind of just like a piece of plastic or whatever, but it is very, very pigmented. It is easy because it is very thin on the end to really flick out, do a nice wing, be very precise. And it is waterproof as well um, because a lot of drugstore liners really like feather in my inner corner because I do have watery eyes. This one doesn't, which is why I do really like it and what kind of sets it apart from a lot of other liners from the drugstore in my opinion. 
Um, so yeah, I guess this is going to be like my new fave drugstore liner moving forward since the NYC one isn't going to be available. I'm still upset about it. I'm still going to be a little salty about it. As far as liner for the waterline goes, I like to use crayon liners for that. And this one is the L'Oreal Silkissimi liner. I love this. I feel like I haven't heard anybody talk about this, but it glides on so easily. It is so pigmented. I really, really like it. The only thing that I don't like is that it's actually like you actually have to sharpen this. It's not like a retractable liner, which I tend to like better. Um, but this one is so creamy, so pigmented. It's so easy to put in your waterline and it's just like so black because a lot of times when you put liner in your waterline, it like doesn't show up. I don't really know why that is, but this one I don't have that issue with at all. You guys can clearly tell that it is super pigmented and it doesn't like hurt putting it on. It just glides really nicely. So I love this one for the waterline. And they do make that liner in a couple different colors as well. If you don't want to do black on your waterline, you want like brown or gray. They have a bunch of different colors. So don't worry, you don't have to get black if you don't want it to be as harsh. For brows, you guys already know if you watch my channel, it is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Definer. Girl, if you don't have this in your life, you have to get this right now. Even if you're not interested in a starter kit, you're not interested in any of these other products, this is like my absolute favorite one. This is the best, regardless of high-end drugstore, like whatever it is, I think this is the best brow product. I use it all the time. I use Shade Brunette. I have that on my brows today. They have like two colors that are darker, I think. They have two that are lighter. They have like an auburn one and then a blonde one. I love this product. It's so amazing. It has a spoolie on one end and then a very skinny little precise pencil, not pencil, but it's like retractable product on the other end. So you can really get in there, feather in your brows, make them really natural, make them really bold, kind of whatever you want to do. It blends out really nicely with the spoolie. This is just a fabulous, fabulous brow product. Like I'm telling you, this is so good. Last but not least, we have the lips. And it's funny because actually all the lip products that I chose are from the same brand and I didn't even mean to do that. But this brand to me, I love their lip products. I think they have the best options from the drugstore and they have such a wide variety of products. Um, so first we'll talk about lip liner. My favorite lip liners from the drugstore are from the brand NYX. And these are their retractable lip liners. So you don't have to use like anything to sharpen them. They just kind of scroll up. This one though, I've used like basically all of it so it's not going up. Um, this is my favorite color right here. You guys can see it's kind of like a mauve nude. And this is just the shade nude. Um, but they come in tons and tons of different shades. I own these in a ton of different shades. I have a red one, a darker one. Um, I would start with the nude one because I feel like on a daily basis, most people wear nude lips. But if you're looking for any kind of lip liner from the drugstore, I think NYX Retractable are the best ones. They're also waterproof. They don't budge. They will stay on your lips throughout the day. And they're very easy, very precise to kind of put on and you don't have to worry about sharpening them. So in my opinion, they are the absolute best. This color in nude specifically is the one that I would suggest for the starter kit since I know most people you know, tend to really only wear neutral lips on a daily basis. As far as actual lipsticks go, I'm more of a liquid kind of lipstick girl, and these two from NYX are my favorite. These are their soft matte lip creams. These colors specifically are my favorite, but you can again customize this to kind of the color that you like. I've tried literally probably all of these, if not almost all of them. All of the colors are really beautiful. The formulation on these is really great, which is why I wanted to include them in this, because I really think that they are the best like liquid lipsticks per se from the drugstore. Um, if you're interested in my specific color selections, I kind of picked a bold one as well as an everyday one. So this one is in the shade London. I think this is really beautiful for every day. I will swatch it for you guys so you can see. But this is what it looks like right here. Just a very neutral, neutral shade. Really great for every day. They do dry matte and they don't budge on the lips, which is really great. It's gonna last all day long. And if you want a more bold option, my favorite one is the shade Monte Carlo. So this is kind of like a deeper red color. Swatched it right there for you guys. Really, really great, bold, you know, for a night out. Or if you wanna wear this every day, girl, do you. But like I said, there are tons and tons and tons of colors, but this specific formulation, the soft matte lip creams, I think are great. NYX also makes like traditional lipsticks. They have butter ones, they have matte ones, a bunch of different options. I personally like the lip creams the best. I like that they do come with the doe foot applicator. I just think it's easier to apply than a traditional lipstick is because um, you can be a little bit more precise, but I absolutely love these and think they are the best lip options for a starter kit. And so like I said, for those, they dry matte, so they kind of give you options because you can leave them matte if you like a matte lip, or you can add a gloss on top of them and just have that really pigmented color that they give you. So my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite gloss, you guys know this if you watch my channel, it is the NYX Glam Aqua Lip Gloss. Oh my goodness. These lip glosses are amazing. This one is in the shade VIP. I use this like almost every single day. Um, it is so, so glittery. You guys can see it right there. 
but this just makes your lips look literally like water. It is amazing. I love them. Like they're better than higher end lip glosses that I've tried. They just give your lips such that like juicy kind of look. I feel like it's not really showing up that great on my hand, but in real life, you know, if you've watched my videos, I'll link a tutorial down below where I use it. It just makes your lips look so, so good. So I love that. Again, it comes in a ton of different colors. My favorite neutral one is in the shade VIP, which I think is really great to start out, but then you can get it in different colors. They have a bunch of different options. So yeah, that is my ultimate drugstore starter kit. Those are all my absolute favorite products from the drugstore, the ones that are staples that I think everyone should have in their collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below if you've not already. It would mean so much to me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.